breaking now from the north side. Right now, police are searching for a dangerous suspect who opened fire in the middle of a fight and killed an 18-year-old mother. Tonight, police are still unsure of who shot her and why she was caught up in that commotion. RTV6's Ebony Monet joining us now with the very latest. Ebony. Melissa, police were first called here to this area to on with the report of a fight. And according to witnesses, there was a large fight that started here in this grassy area here in between these two homes. Police received a number of calls, and many of those callers reported hearing several shots fired. When they arrived, they found an 18-year-old victim, an 18-year-old who they have now identified as Kayla Goggins, who was shot in the chest and did not survive, and she actually died from those injuries. According to witnesses here in the neighborhood, they say more than a dozen cars, squad cars responded to that deadly shooting here in this neighborhood. And they also say this makes the second shooting in about a month. A resident was shot during an attempted robbery as he walked to his car. But the neighbors around here tell us that this is even more shocking and sad to them because it involves a teen and it's deadly. There's really nothing I can say that's going to replace the, the loss of any child in any situation. I mean, you've got the situation in Chicago where children are dying every weekend. Uh, it's totally unfortunate because children should outlive their parents. And unfortunately, that's not happening nowadays. I can't imagine these children who have either no hope of ever getting to their 40s and 50s expecting to die young. Uh, it's just incredible to me. Police have not released any information, any motive for that large fight here on the street, which subsequently ended with the death of that 18-year-old. They have also not released any information about a suspect's description. However, they have said that this 18-year-old victim leaves behind an infant son, and they say that investigators are following up on leads. In fact, since we've been out here the last three hours, we've seen at least four squad cars patrolling this neighborhood. We, of course, will continue to follow this story, and you can check for updates on the IndyChannel.com. Reporting live on the north side. Ebony Monet, RTV6.